Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do uh, a little bit more on this walnut slab that we've been uh, talking about here. So I got the planer set up, as you can see. Here's my slab that I got. Hope you can see it with the way I got the camera set up. Um, so I went through and I planed the side real quick, uh, which is going to be the bottom. Uh, you can see there's still a not here uh, here's the bottom side of well actually this was the top sorry that I went through and uh, did my epoxy through I was just checking out my seam um, so that came out okay and I just ran it down real quick because uh, we're not done with this side this is actually the bottom side so being the bottom I wasn't able to epoxy uh, because we're doing the top. Here's the top right here that everybody's kind of seen. Um, so I just wanted to get like a real quick flat service so that when I run this through the planer here, it'll take off uh, some of this top epoxy and uh, get us nice and smooth to get to the next step. So I'm gonna show you running it through the planer and um, smoothing it out a little bit. So stick with me here and uh, here we go. And there you got it, right there. That is nice, pretty smooth. Here's where we filled in. Nice and smooth. So that's not too bad. That's going to give us a nice, a little bit of sawdust there. A nice base to start off, um, you know, with the next step. So now that I got that planed down, and I got the bottom pretty much planed down where I want it to be. Now, like you said, I'm gonna do a little more filling on the bottom there, uh, but this is going to be the top of the shelf. Um, so I gotta finish taking off a little bit of the bark here for this nice live edge that they wanna keep. Um, then re-put my pencil mark uh, back on this side, uh, to straighten it out. It's just some bark that's coming off anyways. And that's where it's going to get cut uh, to give us a nice straight edge. So, 
now that we have that done, like I said, there'll be some sanding, uh, some cutting and stuff like that. Filling in some more little holes or divots that we might find um, along the way. But at least now we have a nice, smooth, flat surface on both sides. Um, it's really kind of starting to shape up. You know, it's been a few days. Um, unfortunately, the weather wasn't with us. You know, now it's a nice, uh, cool, pretty sunny day. A little bit of clouds, but uh, for the most part, not too shabby. And, um, you know, he didn't want to start doing all this with all the moisture that was in the air with all the rain and stuff. Uh, you know, we're in the garage here doing it. As you can see behind me, the garage isn't, you know, finished inside. So <clears throat> all that moisture and everything was kind of in the air. When you strip that down, it get back into the wood. So even if you had sanded it, moisture would have brought, you know, the fur on the wood back out. Um, and you would have had to just keep repeating the steps. So, uh, you know, we had other things to do anyways, and the weather just wasn't really with us. Um, so now that the weather is with us and it's supposed to be a decent weekend, I'm hoping I'll be able to get a little bit more with this done and um, hopefully get it all finished up sometime within the next couple days is my game plan. And uh, we can get it back to uh, the customer uh, who is actually watching. Thanks, Brian. Uh, Brian Harris, thanks a lot. Thanks for subscribing, liking, and sharing the video. Rest of you, please follow suit. Give us a hand. Let's grow this channel. Like I said, you know, if you watch the channel, we do a little bit of different things, uh, you know, from the woodworking uh, to like some reviews of different things. Just uh, like the channel says, it's a day in the life. So, uh, you know, thanks for joining me for this part of a day in the life of doing a little bit of woodworking. Uh, we've got a limo run later on today. Um, I don't think I'll be videoing that because it's just a straight pick up going back to uh, Logan, uh, the B terminal in Logan and dropping off up in uh, Hollis, New Hampshire. Um, so nothing really exciting uh, there to film. But um, anyways, we'll get some more content. We'll get working on this. We'll add some more videos. Follow along, please. Again, like, watch, subscribe, share, uh, comment. Let me know if you want to see something, uh, different things. Also, maybe thinking of um, kind of getting into some First Amendment audits, maybe, if that's something that uh, people wanted to see. Uh, you know, just different things. Uh, kind of a smorgasbord, I guess you could say, of uh, videos. Just trying to find that niche out there. And uh, hopefully people like to watch, see what we're doing, follow along. And um, like I said, like, subscribe, share, comment. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next one.